So in this video we are going to save the data locally using the shared preferences. So in order to use it we have to add the dependency for this. So go to pub.dev site okay, and simply search for shared preferences. This one shared preferences with null safety. Okay. Click on it. Click on installing and now simply copy this dependency. Come back to the project and then inside the project we have a postrec.yml and let's add that here okay so click on pubget so it has been added successfully now let's just come back to register.dot file and now here we can simply say shared references shared preferences this is the instance for our shared preferences and now we can say wait shared preferences dot set string so you have to pass the key and alongside with the value so for so the uid is important okay we will save this locally okay the value of it which is using the current user dot uid and then comes make sure to add the non null exclamation mark here and also add here question mark okay the next thing that we will save locally will be the cafe or restaurant name okay which simply means the seller name so for that the key name will be name the value of which we can get from our name controller name controller dot text dot trim the next thing that we will need locally will be the I mean the cafe image or you can say the seller image or the restaurant image so we can save it locally by the name user I mean this photo URL okay photo URL will be the key name for it and the value of which is inside the variable seller image URL so basically these three things we are saving locally you can add further information I mean if you want to save many other information locally for example the phone and the other information okay so it is totally up to you what I mean how much information you will need or how much you want to add so we just need the UID name and photo URL locally that's why I just uh, share it using the shared preferences the UID name and photo URL one thing which I need to mention here okay in case when the user is not authenticated okay that is if this thing fail so in that case we have to notify the user that uh, you are not authenticated try again so for that after the dot then okay here you can simply say dot catch error and here we can say error we will make the loading dialog disappear by simply saying navigator.pop context and then we can show the dialog which will be our error dialog so for let's just copy this from here we can simply paste it here inside the catch error okay so this time it will be you can say I mean the error message which we get as a result okay that is which error occur okay which is from here okay which we get by using catch error so it will return an error message so we are going to display it here error message error dot uh, message dot to string also let's modify our error dialog I mean I have to check it okay there is no need to modify it we have already the ok button so anyways we call the error dialog here okay so the error message will be displayed that is let's say email is not valid or anything okay whatever the error message is returned 
or let's say if the account is already created by using uh, an email which is already in use so it will return that this email is already in use try with another email okay so this error will basically return that automatically because uh, it is receiving from the firebase authentication as a result so anyways now we are ready to test the app first of all let's check that we have called the function so when the user click on the sign up button we are calling this function where we are doing the form validation and if everything goes well then basically we start uploading the image and then we call our function authenticate seller and then we sign up of course so after it we have this function which is calling here and then we authenticate the user we get the user uh, current user as a result and then we in case if any error occur we show the dialog otherwise otherwise we save the data to the fire store so yeah it is fine and also let's initialize our share references by simply saying that equals to wait shared references dot get instance okay and as we have initialized it I mean there is no need to add the non null exclamation mark here okay so yeah now we are ready to test the app so now let's go to the register choose an image first let's register pizza hut restaurant or you can say pizza hut cafe pizza hut pizza hut at the rate gmail.com then comes the password and then the confirm password and then of course the cafe restaurant location now one thing which I remember here okay let's just first test this okay if I remove the uh, under red I mean uh, if I remove the at the red sign from the email so this is not correctly formatted okay now if I simply click on sign up then it will return an error okay error dialog okay which we just implemented here if I show you this one dot catch error so this thing this code has been executed here that is the email address is badly formatted and we are getting this message inside our using this error from the firebase authentication automatically okay as a result or you can say as a return so we have to write the correct email one thing which I remember here is basically make sure to save one more thing locally which will be the email okay so let's just copy paste this you will need an email also so email dot email dot to string so let's just test the app so make sure that if you are in a hot restart mode then make sure to close the debugging first okay just click on this stop main dot dot okay I mean this red debugging button okay and we have to install the app from the start okay let's close the application also now let's test the app since we have added the shared preferences okay so we have to reinstall our app in our phone so let's wait for it so our app is running now and now let's just come here to the register choose an image and now let's quickly sign up as a seller and then of course the location of the cafe and let's just click on sign up registering account please wait so yes congratulations we are registered successfully and we are now on the home screen of seller okay since you know the home screen is empty that's why we see this 
um, empty screen okay this is blank screen so anyways if we go now to the fire authentication and first of all let's check the fire store database here you can see sellers this is the unique ID remember this QJHZ starting from it and this is the this is the information okay if you go to the authentication and here you can see the user pr.gmail.com the user ID you can see QZHZ so it is working fine and of course the images are storing in the seller folder which I already show you guys so it is working fine we have successfully registered the seller